Hello and welcome to SGN Tech Forum. Today in this video, I'm going to show you a document preparation software called Latex on Mac OS. It is also called MacTex. So what is Latex or MacTex? It is a application which you can run locally or um, as a service online. And it can help you define all your sections or your document structure as a code and then you can compile that code at the end of that you can get a pdf file this is very popular in academia and research so we will see how how to work with latex and if you have no experience after watching this video you can get started pretty quickly and you will appreciate uh, this application for sure so there are two ways you can get latex or MacTex. The first uh, you can see on my screen for Mac OS, there is a package available. You can simply uh, download MacTex and install it in your environment. It, it all downloads all the packages and other things uh, and then you can simply run it. The second way how you can deal with this is a website called Overleaf. It is an online latex editor. There are others also, but the, uh, I have chosen this one for demo purpose and it serves the purpose. So late, uh, overview, Overleaf gives you an online latex editor and where you can collaborate with other people also, so, right? So, and this is a paid service, but there is some student uh, uh, related discount available. So let's look at the pricing first and then we will see how to work with local install of uh, MacTex and we will work with online version of latex as well for plan and pricing um, there are three tiers and you have pricing to choose but what i want to show you is special price student plans if you have a student id then you can use their free tier it is free for uh, anybody with a student id and you can work with one collaborator that means you can collaborate with one more person you can invite to co collaborate online now let's look at uh, the local install first and then we will go back to uh, online mode so here is my latex uh, local install with local install you can see i installed my latex and then i say that give me a new file and this is the new file i got so the challenge with this it is a blank file you do so you have to start from uh, step zero or you need to understand the prerequisite very quickly i'm going to show you a quick demo for local install so let's create a uh, document and i have copy pasted the code here so i'm saying that give me a document class this is the font size 10 pt and i'm saying that document class is article there could be multiple type of document class we will discuss that when we do start looking into online editor then you can import packages and you can see everything starts with this uh, backslash actually so when you hit the backslash that means it is a, a special notation it is they specify the code and then you have different packages so you have for math equation you have as math uh, as miblib and there are others right the document start with begin document so you are saying that this is where i want to begin my document and let's say something awesome uh, sdn tech forum is awesome and end document so when i compile that to compile you can uh, click function f5 or just click on typeset once you hit typeset the background code will run and you can see that you got a pdf document with whatever content you type, type between the sections so you can see this is available and now i can download it or save it all right but uh, the challenge with local install there are two challenges the first is you need to understand all, or know all the packages and import them manually sometime some packages are missing in your local install so you need to fetch them uh, ad hoc on demand basis and sometimes it's 
difficult to figure out that what package I should use, right? So let's go to online uh, editor and you will see that it is very easy to get started with the online editor and especially if it is free. <clears throat> so we are not going to buy a subscription, but I have my account here. And uh, when you log into your account, this is where you land to the project. You can uh, you can see your previous project and you can create a new project. You can create a blank project. You can get started with the example project or you can upload project. Also, it has GitHub integration. So you can integrate your uh, Latex account with GitHub and then you can pull project from there. Uh, let's first see upload project. So you can drag and drop if you have any template available, you can simply drag and drop and it accepts zip file only. So I have a sample latex starter document, which I am going to import it here. And you can see this has all the right syntax and notation. And when I compile, hit compile, I can see my output PDF here. Okay. So that's the one way to get started on your project. If you have some initial template available. Second way to get started is um, click on new project, example project, and you can say it test. And then it will show you a lot of um, sample thing. And you can get started with this mode. Right. So it has a lot of packages and template available and more uh, if your paper look more or look like this, you can use it. Again, here are the, some templates available. So if you are trying to write a academic, a academic journal, then you can choose those template and it will present you a lot of template uh, which many users actually publish. So it is user contributed content. And if you feel that, okay, uh, one of the template suits or matches your requirement, you can basically choose that and get started from there. So you can view source and copy all the code and edit it like that. Or you can simply open the template and start editing or building it from the template. Okay, because you can see all all the things here. So they, these are like uh, three or four methods to get started. What we are going to do, we are going to create a blank project, just like what we created in local install. So in my blank project, it's not completely empty. It is giving me at least a pointer to start. And this is what you can see here. I have some pointer to start. And when I say recompile, it is going to now compile. Okay. So let's understand this uh, codes a little bit. So what I'm saying that document class is article document class can be uh, some few, few different things as well, like general research, uh, but article book, but article is more common. Then you have your title. Uh, so whatever you define in this curly braces that is your variable and what whatever start with this backslash that's become a code right so if you try to hit backslash you can see a lot of code suggestions here okay so begin document here your things start here your actual document start and here before that you can if you want to import any packages you import a package before be beginning your document. So say I want to say use package AS math because I have some math equations. So I am going to import them so that the code is available later on um, in the section. So here you can see the first thing is section. Section means you are going to give you a numbered um, heading here. 
I already have one section. Now I can add subsections. So if I say subsection primer and then compile, you'll see I got a subsection 1.1. If you want to add any text here, this is demo. This is another demo and recompile. You'll start seeing your text here, right? Uh, under sections and subsections. So this is how you get started. Now I'm going to show you a couple of few um, uh, usable usability hacks. Okay. Uh, the first thing what I want to show you is table. So if you want to create a table, let's pull a table co code here. So begin tabular table and then you can say how your table should look like. So this is a code for table. You can see I have a table and they got sections. It's not very pretty, but yes, uh, on a high level, the table start with begin tabular and then end tabular. If you want a line uh, on the top and bottom, you can say H lines. The ampersand is for cell. So if you don't feel anything uh, and just say ampersand, that will give you an empty cell. But if I say cell and recompile, you'll see that I have a value here in this cell. So this is how you create tem uh, table. Now, if you want to create a item list or a bullet list, then what you have to do, you have to use enumerate and uh, here actually um, I'm showing you how to do a picture, but let's do this thing first and then we will do a picture so let me get rid of this code begin enumerate item item one okay and enumerate now compile so here you can see here i got item item one this is how it's like you want an order list, the number list, then you can say okay so let's continue with items so this is how you can continue with items and um, item number one, item two as a ordered set of mm, numbered items Okay, next thing what I want to show you is how to insert a picture. To insert a picture, first we are, we have to, uh, what we have to do, we have to create a new folder. So let's create a folder, name it figure. And in this figure, I'm going to upload an image. So you can see there is no image right now. You can upload. So I'm going to say upload and bring a background image from my local computer okay. perfect so this is here now let's talk about what code we need so before we import any images we need some user packages the main user package we need is user package graphic x and alongside we need comment and geometry but they are optional but a must package is graphic X. Once you have the user package, then you can bring in the code. I have a, the code ready. I'm going to paste it here. So if you look at the code, we again begin, begin figure, exclamation mark and H, that means override and pay, uh, put the fig, uh, figure here, put figure in the center. And then we are saying include graphics and the graphics uh, destination or a figure destination 
alongside that we are labeling that figure and we are putting a caption then end center and figure now let's recomply and see if figure shows up okay perfect so i have my figure uh, from figure folder on in uh, within the document with figure and caption mentioned at the center you can see that you can add extra def definition using subfloat um, so some descriptions is, is also there if you want to disable some of the code then the quick way to do that is put a percent sign in front of that recompile then you will see that this subfloat is disabled so it, it is there in the code but it is not taken effect so it's just like commenting the code okay the final thing what i want to show you is how to create bibliography because if you are creating any journal or any research paper then you must have a bibliography uh, for references so for that you don't need a user package but you need the code called bibliography style and my style is abbreviation and bibliography papers so it is actually referring to the folder or file where all the citations are there so let's go ahead and create a uh, file with the same name papers and then citation can be multiple type we will use bib text citation so let's suffix it with bib because it is expecting a bib text citation and if you're not familiar with bib text or different citation type uh, you can do a little bit of google search uh, to create bib text citation uh, for any website or any web page you can use zbib.org and you can create a manual entry or just put the website this uh, url here and it it will give you the citation so here is the citation for my website and let me copy the citation here put the citation back into the paper.bib and now we can call this within our document so let's say I want to uh, cite this uh, URL in one of the section. So this video will be available at and to cite you need code cite and within this curly braces we are going to use the cite key and this is my cite key. So control C or command C, come back, paste it here and then recompile. You can see this video will be available at the citation reference and here we have reference sec section now. Now if you feel that everything is feeling very clumsy here, you can add a new page and send citation back to uh, a different page so you can see I got a page break and my site all my citations are on different page so this is how you can work with latex very powerful tool if you are uh, writing any document please feel free to use it and send me a comment how uh, useful my video was to get you started with latex so thank you very much for watching stay safe